So today I'm talking about a U0423 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0423 code? Well, it's an invalid data received from instrument panel cluster control module. And what does this mean? Well, basically modern vehicles have many computers built into them. They can have a transmission control module. They can have an ABS control module. They can have an engine control module. They can also have this instrument panel cluster control module. And basically each one of these control modules is controlling different things. So for example, like an engine control module, that would be controlling all the engine functions like fuel injectors, engine timing, O2 sensors, things along these lines. An instrument panel control module, that's gonna be controlling all the dashboard functions. So this would be things like turning on the check engine light, displaying the fuel gauge, things along these lines. But when you get a U0423 code, for some reason, the other computer control modules, they're trying to talk to the instrument panel control module, but it's not responding back with the right information. There's some kind of issue going on with it. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting to know why. One thing to note about all these different control modules is what's called the CAN bus. There can be different types of buses, but a CAN bus is a very common one. And basically all a CAN bus is, is all the wires that run around to all the different control modules so that they can talk with each other. So if you do go to work on your vehicle and you hear the words CAN bus, all that means is it's all the wires that run around to all the different control modules along with right where they plug in so that they can all communicate with each other. You could kind of think of the CAN bus like Ethernet that's run around inside of a home or inside of a building where they plug into the router and then they run around all the different computers inside of a home so that all the different electronics can talk to each other it's very similar to that, but basically if you go to work on your vehicle and you hear the words CAN bus, all that means is it's all the wires running around to all the different computers. And so what would be some possible causes of a U0423 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad power source, and this is going to be like a bad battery or an alternator that's not charging correctly. So first thing to do is be sure that that battery is good. It hasn't gone bad. You can also test the alternator output and be sure that it's not too low or too high because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply or it's going to cause problems. So the first thing that could cause this is a bad battery or some kind of issue with the alternator. The next thing to go and look for is going to be a blown fuse. Sometimes it can be kind of confusing which fuse goes to what and which one to go and look at. So you can't go through and just test them all. But the main things to look for when you do go to check those fuses is check for anything labeled like ECM, PCM, ECU, IPC, anything computer related. Be sure to check those fuses and be sure that they're good because the next thing that could cause this is a blown fuse. And the next thing that could cause this issue is some kind of wiring issue going on with that instrument cluster. There's like a bad ground, there's like a bad connection, there's an open, there's a short somewhere going on, something along these lines. Sometimes these wires, when they run up behind the dashboard, sometimes they could be rubbing on metal, which can slowly eat through the wire. And this can cause an open or a short or something along these lines. But if there's any problems going around with all those wires running around to all the different control modules, then that's going to cause issues. So the next thing that could cause this is wiring issues. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with that instrument panel control module, that it's just gone bad, it just needs to be replaced. These instrument panel control modules, they can't be separate or very commonly. They're built into that dashboard cluster. This is fairly common. Although they can be separate, they can't be their own little computer off to the side somewhere. So you have to research your specific vehicle to know what's going on with it. But it is fairly common for them to be built into the dashboard along with all the gauges and everything else. But the last thing on the list is going to be that instrument panel control module is just failed and just needs to be replaced. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0423 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.